Have you ever noticed that before? People get really, really close when they have had death in the family. And it seems as if people get so close that they talk to each other for a good, I would say, two weeks, a good two weeks. If they're really, really good, they'll do about five weeks, maybe a month and a week. That's about it. You know, that, man, that, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Hello, family. I want to welcome you to AOS, the podcast. I'm your host, Mr. AOS Inspires. This is what I need you to do. We're on every single platform, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I need you to go and subscribe and follow us right now. We drop content every single day day that'll help you with your life because our mission here at AOS the podcast is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time one interview at a time one video at a time to help you live life at the next level I want you to live life on the next level I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's watching this episode this is going to be a dynamic episode I need you to dive in do me a big favor I need you to like share and comment. Don't be a stranger. I like comment with us. And this is what I need you also to do. I need you to copy this link right here on this podcast, this episode, and share it with at least 10 of your friends. I promise you it's going to help them out. Let's jump into the episode. On, family, you guys are so amazing. I'm going to say AOS Inspires. This is five minutes of motivation. I want to welcome you to another episode. Five minutes of motivation. I gotta. I, I want to slow grind this thing real fast because so many people right? Have issues with family members or even friends, right? It bothers me because it seems as if people get real close at funerals. Have you ever noticed that people get real close when there's a funeral in the family, right? When, when, when something has happened in the family or something has happened with their friends, they get real close. Like, What's going on, family? I know that you're enjoying the episode, but I had to pause to ask you a quick question. Have you ever been through anything in life that was so life-altering that it changed your life forever? I mean, have you ever been and had a job and you lost that job? I mean, your dream job. You lost that job for whatever reason. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. You started a business and the business started off great and then it seemed as if it was going downhill. And now you're at a place you lost your marriage, you lost your children, you lost some major things in your life. And now you're at a place in life where you're like, hey, this is the end of the road. I, I'm like, I don't see it getting better. I got news for you. It will get better. And I wrote a book just for you. It's entitled Winning After a Major Loss. You need to go and get your copy. Go to barnesandnoble.com, go to amazon.com, get your copy right now, Winning After after a major loss. I promise you, it's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change your mindset. Most importantly, it's going to change your heart about your situation because I promise you, you can win after a major loss. Go get your copy now. Barnes and Nobles, amazon.com. Order your copy now. Let's get back to the episode. That before People get really, really close when they have had death in the family. And it seems as if people get so close that they talk to each other for a good, I would say, two weeks. A good two weeks. If they're really, really good, they'll do about five weeks, maybe a month and a week. That's about it. That's, I mean, that's, that's the best you get, a month and a week, right? Then eventually it fizzles out and they go back to normal. Because this is the thing. Before the funeral, if they talk to you every single day, they're going to talk to you every single day after the funeral, right? But if they didn't talk to you that much, they're not going to talk they, 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 because the pain is going to be stinging there for a while. But that communication is not going to be there for a while. Have you ever noticed that with family members that everybody want to act like they're so close and so tight and love each other at a funeral? But what I want to talk about today is suppose the person that you have grief with that you got an issue with, that you want to pull up on, only had 24 hours to live. Like, really think about that. Like, think about the person that, it doesn't matter whether it's mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin, uncle, auntie, whatever, whoever it is, a person, a friend that you were once close with, or maybe not that close, y'all were cool, but now it's clear that you both are not cool at all. Suppose that person only had 24 hours to live. How would you act? 
Now, I'm not talking about y'all that's going to act all cocky and I don't care. You know, it is what it is. I, if they die, it is what it is. I, I'm not. I'm not talking to your hard, hard, hard itself. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those that have sensitivity and sensitive, sensibly, sensibly, right? That that care for people. How would you respond? I guarantee you over 50% of you all that's listening to this on the other side of this lens will say, you know what? If I knew that they only had 24 hours to live, I would make our differences straight right now. I will call them and we will clear it out. We will hash it out. We will get it all out. It is what it is because it's, it's not worth it. So my question becomes, if you knew that they only have 24 hours to live, you would clear it up now. Why don't you go and clear it up now? Because you don't know if they don't have 24 hours to live. Something to really think about, right? You don't know if the person that you have an issue with has 24 hours to live. You don't know this. So since you don't know this, I need you to get up off your high horse, put your pride aside and go clear that thing up right now. Because too many of y'all are holding on to grudges and I've known people, listen, I've known people personally that people have died and they had issues with them. And now, it I mean, you know, they gotten over it, but it haunted them for a while because they didn't clear the grievance up. They didn't, they didn't clear the problem up when they could have cleared the problem up. And the truth of the matter is, sometimes you have to be the bigger person. I ain't gonna say sometimes, all the time, be the bigger person. Be the big, because most times when people have, you know, uh, uh, issue, it's all because of a misunderstanding. They took it the wrong way or they didn't mean it this way or it didn't go down this way. I thought it went like this, but it didn't it clear it up. Life is way too short. Matter of fact, you don't even know if you have 24 hours to live. How would that person feel? Right. Even though they live and you died, the per, it's, whatever, clear it up. Just clear it up. There's no need to walk around with an issue on your shoulder the person that you once loved or that you once cared about or that you still care about or that you still loved. Stop holding on to issues, especially when things can be. Now, now I'm going to tell you this and I'm gone for real because I'm almost out of time. I'm the type of person, if you did me wrong, I'm cool with never talking to you ever again in life. I'm cool with that. If I never talk to you again in life, I'm fine with that. But I will fix the issue that we have. But just because you fix the issue doesn't mean that we have to go back to being best friends or doesn't mean that we have to go back to being friends and talking. I just know I cleared that issue up. I'm out of time. I love you guys to life. Let's go. What's going on, family? I want to say thank you for rocking with us during this episode. We have been so excited to drop this episode. I'm glad that you made it to the end. This is what I want you to do. If you have any takeaways from this episode, leave it in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear how you feel. I want to bring content to you that's relevant to you, that'll help you change your life because you already know our mission here at AOS Inspires, AOS the podcast, is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. This is what I need you to do. I need you to like, subscribe, share, share this episode. If it spoke to your life, share this episode with somebody. Why? Because you are connected to some people that we're not connected with. And with that connection together, we can empower the world to never give up. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. I can't wait to see you next week. Just in case you didn't know, we drop every single week, three times a week, Mondays, 8 a.m., Wednesdays, 8 a.m., and Fridays, 8 a.m. You need to catch an episode. Matter of fact, catch all three episodes. It's going to be fire. I promise you it's going to help you doing your everyday life. It's going to help you get to the next level. Let's go.